All right, you guys are good to go. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, it is 11.02, so I will officially convene the uh, Wednesday, February 17th, 2021 committee meeting of the Finance, Revenue, and Bonding Committee. My name is Sean Scanlon. I am the House Chair of that committee, and I will uh, defer to my uh, esteemed colleague, Senator from Far, to see if he has any opening remarks before we get going today. I don't. Thank you, Sean. And our ranking members, Representative Cheeseman, Senator Martin, any remarks this morning before we get started? Henry? You want Okay, I'll jump in. Um, I want to thank the, the chairs. This is obviously an incredibly ambitious agenda. There's some very worthy concepts there. I am concerned that we are biting off more than we can chew given the nature of the pandemic and the need to get a budget out. But uh, I am looking forward to discussing these concepts and I thank you for your work putting this ambitious agenda together. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Um, so. To that end, uh, I would just say to the committee, before we start talking about these issues, there are obviously very significant issues on this list. Uh, these are very weighty issues that are important to some of us. There are bipartisan issues on here. There are Republican bills, there are Democrat bills. But what we're doing today is simply advancing those to the point that we can hear more information about them so that we can talk about them. I'm sure there are things on here that we may have substantive disagreements on. Um, but to get to the ability that we can have those disagreements on behalf of the state and our constituents, we need to hear more information about them. And that's the action that we're taking today to raise these concepts, to uh, reserve some of these bills for subject matter public hearings, just to have more ability to talk about them. And so uh, I just want to put that out there for folks uh, so that they are reminded that that's, that's what we're talking about here today. Not advancing the bill, not condoning or opposing a bill. It's simply just putting it forward so we can continue to talk about it. So with that said, uh, move on to uh, Roman numeral number three, concepts to be raised. Uh, we'll go through these. I think that there are some that we can put on consent uh, and, and we will not have to go through all of them together, uh, but we'll start with number one, an act concerning a voluntary employer compensation expense tax. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by uh, Representative Hennessy, second by Representative Concepcion. Any discussion? Uh, yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Tammy. Uh, Sorry, just, I can't uh, find my raised hand function. Um, uh, yeah, thank you, Representative. Just, um, I know you said you can't find it, but just for everyone else, if you do have a question or you want to talk, just please try to use the raised hand function. If you're having a problem with that, uh, signify like Representative Nuccio did, and we'll figure it out some <laughs> other way. But uh, with that, Representative Nuccio, please go ahead. I found it. Sorry. It's I had to make my whole screen bigger in order to be able to get to it. So um, is there any information that you can give regarding? Um, I have actually a few that are on here, one, two, and three specifically. So is there a way to possibly kind of go through a little bit of what this concept is um, before we vote on it or as part of discussion? I'll be glad to do that, Mr. Chairman. Um, although I would hope that uh, that your leadership did discuss this with you if you had the opportunity so we can expedite this process. I really don't want to have a repeat of, as I mentioned in another meeting, that, um, that it, uh, I experienced in another committee where we go over every syllable of every bill to... Uh, for three hours, as was my experience in another committee. I pray that's not what will happen today, but I'll, I'll tell you essentially. First of all, um, I, I, I really like and have come to really appreciate our LCO, um, Kumisado, uh, but the I know there's a bill right, a title writing um, office somewhere in LCO that needs to be disbanded. Um, but uh, so uh, this is a payroll tax initiative, um, a voluntary payroll tax. You probably wouldn't know that from that title, um, but that's what that is. And uh, uh, seeks to uh, uh, put more money into uh, folks' pockets who get compensated through payroll tax. Uh, and I just want to apologize, Senator. Um, I, I'm not sure about anybody else. Maybe it's just the, you know, the new girl in the room, but being on several hearings all the time. 
Um, I believe, you know, our ranking members do a great job of informing us, but um, we can't be at five meetings at once. The concept is kind of foreign to me. So <laughs> I'm trying, doing the best that I can, but some of these, I just, like you said, very vague, no idea what that is. I'd just like to have an idea before I vote on it. Of course. Thank you, Representative. Any further questions on number one? If not, I'd ask for a voice vote. Uh, Please turn on your camera, go off mute. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Aye. Those abstained, the ayes have it. Number two, an act concerning community restoration funds. Is there a motion? So moved. Still moved. Mr. Chairman. Motion by Representative Hennessy, uh, second by Senator Fonfara. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, aye. nay. Nay. Any abstentions? Okay. Uh, in order to avoid me having to uh, make the uh, flight attendant uh, announcement every time to keep your camera on and unmute, just I'm going to ask you guys to police yourselves to that regard uh, as we move quickly here through these bills. Uh, number three, an act concerning Renaissance zones. Is there a motion? So move, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion second. by Senator Funfara, second by Senator Moore. Any discussion? Okay, camera's on. Phones off mute. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Nay. Any abstentions? Okay. Number four, an act concerning ambulatory surgery centers. Representative Cheeseman. Oh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I'd like to uh, propose move we start a consent calendar, uh, starting with this uh, item number four. Uh, Bill, a mandatory surgical center bill, please, Mr. Chair. Okay, I believe we have to have a motion to raise the bill first, and then okay. we can. So, is is there a motion? I think I heard Senator from Fara make the motion. Is there a second? Hello, everyone. Second. Okay, and you would like that to be placed on the consent calendar, right, Representative? Yes, Chairman? I agree. Create a consent calendar and start it with this uh, particular bill, please, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, point of clarification, uh, uh, Kumi, do we need to uh, have a motion to put that in consent, or can we just add that to the consent calendar? Or we have to create a mo create a consent calendar. Um, this is Kumi Sato. You are basically, by virtue of of putting it on, you're, you're you've created it. So it's not necessary okay. to make a to vote on whether to do a consent calendar unless somebody okay. Will. Just want to make sure we're on the up and up. So thank you, Representative Cheeseman. We will add number four to the consent calendar. Item number five, an act incentivizing development to encourage talent attraction and retention. So Is there a motion? Second. 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 Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Any abstentions? Okay. Item number six, an act concerning Chairman, the state bond I, commission. Mr. Chairman, if I could ask, is, is the intention, um, uh, Representative Cheeseman, that you'll identify those bills that- That we're calling that consent, yes. Is intending to place on the consent calendar? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome. Uh, number six, an act from the State Bond Commission. Is there a motion? So move. Senator Funfara, is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Cheeseman. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Aye. Any abstentions? Number seven, an act concerning mitigating the impact of fringe benefits. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. Second. Motion, motion by Senator Funfara, second by Representative Hennessy. Any discussion? 
Can I get, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, damn, I'm sorry, I didn't raise my hand. Um, sorry. Is that a new show? Multitasking. Um, can somebody give me just a little bit more background on this one, please? Mr. Chairman, uh, I believe this is uh, item number seven, is that correct? Correct, Frank yes, Benedict. This is um, a situation that, uh, the, that uh, a handful of uh, entities are experiencing um, with respect to legacy uh, fringe benefit costs, unfunded liabilities, University of Connecticut in particular. You might have seen the article recently uh, on the airport, Bradley Airport, that is being hurt uh, in their ability to attract um, ac um, activity from airlines because of the cost of that uh, legacy fringe benefit costs that they're bearing. Other agencies have those same costs, but they're being um, picked up by, in the appropriations process, that cost is being borne in the general budget uh, for every other agency. But the University of Connecticut is being hurt in that regard by their ability to attract grants for research, which leads to, um, the goal is to lead to spinoffs and creating new companies. But um, because those costs are looked at by the federal government as an unusual expense, uh, we lose a good number of uh, research dollars, a lot of research dollars in the application process. And now we're learning that the airport, which is the other entity that is not uh, provided a benefit as every other agency is, they have to uh, pay those costs and they are losing business as well. So this is an attempt to try it. I don't know what the answer is right now, but it's hurting our economy. Um, it's hurting those institutions and we need to find another way to address those costs without it hurting us and, and hurting our state's economy. Thank you very much. Representative Devlin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Senator, I really appreciate that explanation. I actually wasn't exactly sure what this was about as well, but it sounds like it also aligns very strongly with proposals that we have made in the past to move the fringe costs of DMV and DOT out of the special transportation fund to enable more funding for transportation. So potentially that would also be captured within this. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I, that's not been brought to my attention, but you are. And certainly if that's an issue that's affecting our ability to be competitive as a state, we, uh, we need to examine Look, this is a this is a heavy weight that our state is bearing. Fifty three cents of every dollar that we generate in revenue goes towards those, well, not just legacy costs, but other um, obligations that we've made, and it really hinders our ability to to uh, be competitive as a state in probably a lot of other ways that I'm not even aware of. But absolutely, oh, that's great. No, I think it'll bring up really good discussion because the move has come from the general fund to those specific agencies to make more room when really it should be covered in the in the general fund. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Senator Formica, do you still have a question? Your hand has been re-raised. My hand was, I put it down is because it seems like the good Senator in, in his explanation indicated that there would be more than uh, an opportunity to look beyond Yukon and the airport and into such programs such as the uh, President Trooper program and the program that uh, the good representative just mentioned. If we can have a broad-based discussion, I'm willing to go forward. If this is just for Yukon, then it's a different story. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome. Thank you, Senator. Okay, um, any further discussion on this bill? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Aye. Any opposed, nay? Any abstentions? All right. Number H, an act concerning an initiative to attract top entrepreneurship professors and promote the knowledge economy in the state. Is there a motion? Item one. So moved. moved. Second. Motion second. by Representative Hennessy, second by Representative Hampton. And Any discussion, Representative Cheeseman? Yes, and I uh, move we put this on our consent calendar, please, Mr. Chair. Item number eight will be placed on the consent calendar. Item number nine, an act concerning the economic recovery notes to assist landlords. Is there a motion? 
So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Funfara, second by Representative Mashinsky. Any discussion? Representative Cheeseman. I, I would like this placed on the consent calendar with no objection, please, Mr. Chairman. Number nine will be placed on the consent calendar. Number 10, an act concerning CT next. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. Motion by Senator Funfara, second by Representative Wood. Is there any discussion? Representative Cheeseman. Again, for the consent calendar, Mr. Chairman. Item number 10 will be placed on the consent calendar. Item number 11, an act concerning a tax credit to expand the CK3LI reading program. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Senator Second. Coastal Resiliency Reserve Funds. Second by Representative Hennessy. Is there discussion? Representative Cheeseman. And on the consent calendar as well, please, Mr. Chairman. Item number 11 will be placed on the consent calendar. Number 12, an act concerning a progressive consumption tax. Is there a motion? So, so moved. Motion by Senator Funfara, second by Representative Cheeseman. Any discussion? I <laughs> Representative Iacarino. Good, uh, good morning, Mr. Chair. I just have, I mean, obviously we're going to listen to this and hear it, but I just have concerns with consumption taxes that would hurt middle class and poorer people. So just be cautious. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Any further discussion on this bill? Hello? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying. Representative Nuccio, did you have a question? Okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay? Nay. Opposed. Abstentions? All right. Uh, number 13, an act concerning the taxation of aftermarket mufflers. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Funfara, second by Representative Concepcion. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Hearing aye. none, thank Close you. Nay. 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 No. no. Any abstentions? Okay. Number 14, an act concerning capping property taxes. Is there a motion? So okay. moved. So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Funfara, second by Representative Wood. Any discussion? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Aye. Nay. Nay. Any abstentions? All right. Number 15, an act concerning a child tax credit. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Confara, second by Representative Sanchez. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed signify by saying nay. 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 Any abstentions? All right, number 16, an act concerning the meals tax. Is there a motion? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion by Senator Funfara, second by Representative Wood. Any discussion? See, Representative Devlin. Thank you. Uh, just a clarification on this. We had a hearing yesterday where we also talked about um, in the context of a different bill, right? The increasing of the sales tax with the intention of it going to our municipalities. I don't think our municipalities have ever seen any of that money. Is the intent of this to increase the tax on the theory that that money will then go back to the restaurants like it was supposed to go to the municipalities? That is a proposal that I believe this bill will be based upon, yes, but the details of that will be heard in a public hearing after we raise it and certainly debated in the committee and, and we can discuss the merits of that proposal. Thank you, I look forward to that. Okay, thank you, Representative. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. 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 Any abstentions? All right. 
Number 17, an act concerning municipal taxpayer leniency. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Fonfara, second by Representative Hennessy. Representative Cheeseman. Yes, I move we place this on the consent calendar, Mr. Chairman. Item number 17 has been placed on the consent calendar. Number 18, an act concerning a tax credit to encourage increased employment in the state. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. second. Motion by Representative second. Hampton, second by Senator Maroney. Representative Cheeseman. And place this on the consent calendar as well, Mr. Chairman. Item number 18 is in place on the consent calendar. Number 19, an act concerning the real estate conveyance tax for home builders. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion, motion by Senator Fonfara, second by Representative uh, Wood. Representative Cheeseman. And to place this on the consent calendar as well, please, Mr. Chairman. Item number 19 is in place on the consent calendar. Item number 20, an act concerning expanding the angel investor tax credit to cannabis equity applicants. Is there a motion? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. second. Motion by Senator Fonfara, second by Representative Elliott. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, aye. nay. Aye. Nay. 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 Any disc uh, any abstentions? Okay. Number 21, an act concerning the E911 fee. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Senator Funfara. Second. Second by Representative Senator Maroney. Representative Cheeseman. I move we place this on the consent calendar, Mr. Chairman. Okay, item number 21 has been placed on the consent calendar. Number 22, an act concerning incentives for qualified data centers. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Formica, second by Senator uh, Representative Wood, Representative Cheeseman. And to be placed as well on the consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Number 22 shall be placed on the consent calendar. Number 23, an act concerning unemployment insurance. Is there a motion? So moved. Senator second. Votes no. Motion by Senator Fontara, second by Representative Hennessy, Representative Cheeseman. And to be placed on the consent calendar as well, Mr. Chairman. Number 23 on the consent calendar. Number 24, an act concerning cannabis. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Perfect. Motion by Senator Fontara, second by Representative Wood. Any discussion? Representative Cheeseman, do you have a comment? <laughs> do I have a comment? Uh, not to place this on the consent calendar. Okay, uh, that's fair. Sorry, you like you're gonna say something. So, uh, any discussion further? Representative Fiorello votes no. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. 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 <laughs> Any abstentions? All right. Number 25, an act concerning sports betting and gaming. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Senator Fonfara, uh, motion. Second by Representative Hennessy. Representative Cheeseman. And I move we place this on the consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Item number 25 has been placed on the consent calendar. Number 26, an act concerning affordable housing tax credit. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Senator Fonfara. Is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Sanchez. Any discussion? Representative Cheeseman. To be placed on the consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Number 26 to the consent calendar. Number 27, an, an act concerning stranded tax credits. Is there a motion? Chairman. So moved. Motion by Representative Cheeseman. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Fonfara. Any discussion? Representative Cheeseman. On the consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Number 27 to the consent calendar. Number 28, an act concerning the failure to file for certain grain list exemptions. Is there a motion? Oh, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion by Senator Fonfara. Second. 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 Second by Representative Hampton. Any discussion? Representative Cheeseman. On the consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Number 28 should be added to the consent calendar. Number 29, an act concerning the legislative commissioner's recommendations for minor and technical changes to the tax and related statutes. Is there a motion? So moved. 
Motion by Senator Fanfar. Is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Hennessy. Any discussion? Representative Cheeseman. On the consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Number 29 to the consent calendar. Number 30, an act concerning finance. Is there a motion? So uh, moved. So second. Motion by Senator Fanfar. Second by Representative Hennessy. Representative Cheeseman. Consent calendar, please. Number 30 to consent. Number 31, an act concerning revenue. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Fanfara, second by Representative Hennessy, Representative Cheeseman. Consent calendar, please. Number 31 to the consent calendar. Number 32, an act concerning revenue collections. So Is there a motion? Second. So moved. Motion by Senator Fanfara. Second. second. By Representative Hennessy, Representative Cheeseman. Consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Number 32 to consent. Number 33, an act concerning taxation. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Fanfara, second by Representative Hennessy, Representative Cheeseman. Consent calendar, please. Mr. Chairman, I, I would assume the next uh, four okay. will can also we, Can I move them all at once, John? Yes, as far as I'm concerned, I would take the committee. I'm, I'm happy the to way. move the rest of them on the consent, 34 through 37 to consent. 34 through 37, we will add to consent. And that saves me a couple breaths. So thank you. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, thank you. I have a, uh, I'd like to make a motion uh, to move the following bills that are on a consent calendar uh, or an entertain a motion for bills or item number four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, or, I'm sorry, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. So moved. Motion by Representative uh, Senator Fanfara, second by Representative Cabros de Gras. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of moving all those agenda items forward, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Any abstentions? If not, we will move on to Roman numeral number four, proposed bills to be reserved for subject matter public hearing. Item number one, proposed bill SB number 171, an act establishing a statewide tax on real property. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Senator Fafar, a second by Representative Hennessy. Any discussion, Representative Cheeseman? And I'm requesting a roll call vote for the uh, this portion of the agenda, please, Mr. Chair. Duly noted. Any further discussion? Representative Piscopo. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, normally, I would I would vote to raise bills for a public hearing. I've done it all morning at this meeting, and I understand that I don't agree with a lot of them. But uh, but I, in in the name of colleague courtesy, I, I usually will vote to raise a bill to hear it in in all in just out of, like I said, colleague courtesy, but there are just some policies that uh, we, I just feel we should not even take the first step down that road, and that would be to grant this a public hearing. Uh, with all, with sincere respect for the, for whoever sponsored the bill and any co-sponsorships, but I, I just, I, I believe this would be a terrible move for the state of Connecticut to even start down this road, and, uh, so I would uh, vote no and ask my colleagues to please join me in opposing this concept. Thank you, Representative. Representative Wood. Uh, I Thank am you. also uh, T. Wood or Carrie Wood. Oh, oh uh, sorry. Re Re Representative <laughs> K. Wood no, no, has her hand up. Representative K Wood, if, if, if you also yes, have I'm a question. Yes, I'm trying to find hand up. Yes, please. Uh, Thank I, you. I'll get to you next. We'll go from Wood to Wood. Uh, but Representative <laughs> Carrie Wood from Thank the great you. town of Rocky Hill. Thank you. Um, I am also concerned about uh, what this bill might mean for the constituents of the 29th district, but um, out of courtesy to my colleague who sponsored the bill, I do, I will be supporting this for um, more information and look forward to a hearing. Thank you, Representative. Representative Terry Wood, followed by Representative Meskers, then Representative Miller. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and following my colleague, uh, John Piscopo, 
Representative Piscopo, I, I do not believe we should be calling this for public hearing. It's already created tremendous concern in this part of the state. And I think we should be looking at how we can fiscally stabilize our state and not further tax our residents, whether from the poorest to the poor to the wealthiest to the wealthiest. So I will be voting no on this legislation. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Representative Mesker is followed by Representative Miller. Yes. Um... While I understand the intent of the act, and I realize that the state's problems of equity, as you go through the issues related to the pilot taxes, which we've heard an, a, num uh, a number of statements on and fully funding our pilot, um, I do not think that this represents the right direction for the state. And I unfortunately will not be able to support this bill. Thank you, Representative. Representative Miller followed by Senator Needleman. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will be supporting this bill for to hear the conversation regarding um, the mill rate. Uh, I follow my colleague, Carrie Wood, in that it's very important that we do hear the conversation to know what the arguments are. I agree with my, oh, Carrie Wood, and then Terry Wood, that in this part of the state, um, there's great concern. And so, but I will be out of respect for the proponent of the bill. I will be voting yes to for a public hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Representative, uh, our Senator Needleman, followed by Representative Mashinsky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I just want to echo the same uh, sentiment that um, I don't like this idea. I think that there's a deep concern in the municipalities that the money won't go where it's supposed to go. I absolutely support fixing pilot somehow. I just think this is the wrong way, but out of respect um, for the leader of uh, my caucus, I'll probably vote to move it um, uh, to a public hearing to hear all sides of it, but I don't like the concept. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Representative Mary Mashinsky, followed by the Vice Chair, Representative Cabros de Graaf. Mr. Chairman, uh, as we discussed in caucus, this bill is uh, misnamed. It's not really a millionaire's tax. It's a, it's actually a middle class <clears throat> tax increase. Uh, I don't like it as written. Um, I am willing to give my colleague, Senator Looney, a hearing, but uh, I think the bill needs to be, if it's gonna move at all, it needs to be addressed and changed make it a, uh, a high-end residence uh, tax. It is, it is really written for middle-class residences right now, and that is not acceptable for final passage out of this committee. Thank you, Representative. Representative Cabros de Graaf, followed by Representative Doucette. Yes, while I respect all of the colleagues and any bills that they bring forth, I have to say that this has been the second uh, highest email getter in my inbox from my community. And I agree with Representative Mashinsky that this is going to hurt the middle class and certainly a significant portion of my district. I do think we need to figure out how we're gonna fund pilot. And I do uh, think that, um, you know, we're probably going to end up with a public hearing anyway, but I will be voting those today. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Cabros to go. Uh, Representative uh, um, like many, um, I have a philosophical uh, problem with this, but uh, perhaps a, a slightly different angle on it. Um, one of the reasons I'm on this committee is that I believe our whole system of taxation in this state um, is overly regressive. Um, however, um, increasing the property tax is not uh, a way in my mind to address that. Um, that being said, uh, I will join uh, my colleagues who, uh, again, are willing to, to uh, give it a hearing um, uh, with uh, the Understanding that uh, there, are, there are, of course, many, many concepts across uh, all of our committees, across my uh, fairly short career here, um, that we have uh, we have heard and uh, certainly uh, perhaps not agreed with. So, with that uh, said, I will I will be voting to to send it to a hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Representative Sanchez, followed by Senator Cohen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I um, fully support funding pilot. Um, I do have some concerns with this concept, but. I will vote um, yes to um, so they can have a public hearing. Um, thank you. Senator Cohen. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. And, and just uh, similarly to my colleagues, I have concerns about the impacts of this legislation on my district and constituents, as well as the residents across the state, um, out of deference to the leadership of the Senate. I uh, want to hear the concept. I think it deserves a public hearing, um, but in no way is my yes vote to move it to public hearing today. Uh, does that signify that I will be voting yes uh, later on in the legislative process? Thank you, Senator. Representative Yaccarino, followed by Representative Perone. Representative Yaccarino, are you frozen? Representative Perone, go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I do uh, want to align my comments uh, along with uh, Representative uh, Mashinsky and, and, and others. I think this is uh, certainly a, a conversation uh, we have to have. And however, uh, it is uh, also a hit on, on the middle class, certainly in my district. And um, I will move the, the concept along in this committee to discuss it. But, you know, I reserve my, my right to not um, support it later on because I think unless, you know, it's, you know, uh, amended, I think this is, like I said, I think this hits the, the people in my district. Uh, but I will, I will move it along. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. And in, in, in the vein of what everyone else has said, I too share serious reservations about this bill and, and deeply concerned about the impact that it would have on my own district. Um, but I will be supporting it today because I do think it's an important conversation for us to have. And I know that Senator Looney has been uh, really thoughtful about ways to fund pilot for a very long time. This is just the latest uh, among many ideas that he has to do so. And I think we owe him the respect to, of his office and position here at the Capitol to do that. So I'm recommending that people uh, do, do put this forward to, to go for a public hearing, but I certainly understand the concerns that folks have raised. Um, with that, I'm gonna ask the clerk to call the roll, but just remind all the members that when it comes to your name, you have to have yourself be visible on camera, off mute, and you have to say Representative Blank votes X, Senator Blank votes X. Uh, so with that, clerk call the roll. Yep. Motion has been made and seconded to reserve Senate Bill 171 for a subject matter public hearing. Bonfera. Yes. Scanlon. Aye. You guys just, just say your name like we just yeah, said. If that, if you yeah, can. I just didn't follow my own advice. <laughs> Representative Scanlon votes yes. I let it slide. Senator Fontero votes yes. Gotcha. Senator Martin. Senator Martin votes no. Representative Cheeseman. Representative Cheeseman votes no. Senator Moore. Moore, yes. Representative Cabros de Gras. Representative Cabros de Gras votes no. Representative Meskers. Representative Meskers votes no. Representative oh, Senator Cabrera. She's not here. I'll skip down and I can go back. Senator Cassano. Senator Cohen. Senator Cohen votes yes. Senator Maroney. Senator Maroney votes yes. Senator Needleman. Senator Needleman votes yes. Senator Slap. Senator Formica. Formica votes no. Senator Wong. Senator Wong votes no. Senator Wickos. Representative Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Representative Butler. Representative Chafee. Oh. Representative Chafee votes yes. Oh. Representative Concepcion. Representative Concepcion votes yes. Representative Doucette. Representative Elliott. Rep Elliott votes yes. Rep Farrar. Representative Farrar votes yes. Representative Hall. Representative Hall votes yes. Let me just try that again, Rep. Hall. I didn't see you. It's on Rep. Farrar. Can you say say your name again? Representative Hall votes yes. Hey, thank you. 
Representative Hampton? Representative Hampton votes no. Representative Hennessy. Representative Lamar. Representative Miller. Representative Miller votes yes. Representative Mushinsky. Representative Mushinsky votes yes. Representative Paolo. Representative Paolo votes yes. Representative Perone. Representative Perone votes yes. I was skipped. Oh, who? I can go back. Who was that? Nuccio. Nuccio. <laughs> Senator Newman. You're probably coming back. Senator Newman. I haven't got to you yet. Okay. Okay. So let me go back. I'm sorry. Representative Perone. Representative Perone votes yes. Keep talking. For some reason, it's not coming up. Your your face isn't. Okay. I don't know. There you go. There you go. Representative Fitz. Representative Fitz. Representative Fitz votes yes. Gotcha. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Representative Staffstrom. Representative Staffstrom votes yes. Okay. Representative Carrie Wood. Representative Carrie Wood votes yes. Repre Representative Zagos. Um, Want to try that again? I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> was Representative Zagos, is, is that, was that, are you still there? Hey, Tom, I think you skipped over me. Who was that? I'll keep coming and I'll come back if I have to. Representative, Representative, Representative Paletta Thomas, who is asking to speak right now. No, you haven't come up yes. yet. Okay. I'm let's sorry. Over. Yeah, that's all right. Representative Carney. Uh, Representative Carney votes no. Okay, gotcha. Representative Devlin. Representative Devlin votes no. Representative Claire DiStitria. Representative Claire DeStetria votes no. Representative Mastro uh, Francesco. Representative Mastro Francesco votes no. Representative Nuccio. Representative Nuccio votes no. Representative Perillo. Representative Piscopo. Representative Piscopo votes no. Representative Paletta. I think he was having some internet. Representative Paletta votes no. Gotcha. Representative Wood, Terry. Yeah. Is Representative, Representative Paletta votes no. I'm sorry. I have bad internet connection. You got it. Representative Terry Wood, is she here? I thought I saw her. No. Representative Yaccarino. Representative Yaccarino votes no. Okay. Representative Zulo. And Representative Zupkus. Representative Zupkis votes no. Gotcha. Mr. Clerk? Yes. Representative Lamar? Representative Lamar votes yes. Gotcha. Mr. Clerk, Wickos is a no. Okay. Mr. Clerk, did I get my vote in? Um, no, I think I still have you. Hold on one second. Is there discussion on... So, so Representative Hennessy, what was your vote? Representative Hennessy votes yes. Gotcha. Got it. That was it. And um, I believe you're holding the votes open, right, Mr. Chair? Yes. Peter? We'll hold the votes up until 2 p.m. today. Uh, okay. So thank you, uh, Mr. Administrator. Um, 
And thank you, everybody. I know this is, we have a big committee. And this is a lot and we're all dealing with this. So I appreciate all of your patience as we try to navigate this um, on a big committee. Uh, number two, uh, proposed bill SB number 172, an act establishing a statewide assessment to encourage affordable housing in the state. Is there a motion? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Senator Funfara. Is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Sanchez. Any discussion? Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Oh, aye. Representative Devlin. Devlin, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Hi, yep. thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to comment that, you know, the notion of supporting affordable housing, I think is uh, something I would like to say everybody in this committee and the legislature supports. But the notion, again, as we've just discussed with the prior piece of legislation of imposing another tax that affects everybody uh, is, and particularly a property tax that we had a good discussion about yesterday uh, about the issues of our property taxes. Um, no, so thank you. Thank you, Representative. Representative Cheeseman. You're on mute, Representative. I apologize. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry it wasn't a clear. I would request a roll call vote on this bill as well. Thank you, Representative. Representative uh, Senator Formica. Good morning, Mr. Ch Good morning, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Um, this bill, from what I read, seems to punish uh, property owners in a community for the failure of leadership to address housing issues. Is that the substance of this bill? Uh, I think the proponent of this bill, Senator, would like to characterize this as uh, a more of a positive thing than the way that you just framed it, uh, as establishing a statewide assessment in order to encourage affordable housing. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, for that answer. I'm wondering if then those property owners would have the ability um, to, get, to get that process moved forward themselves, those people who, thousands of property owners who don't belong on boards and commissions because they're limited in nature. I, I just find this to be completely regressive. So I'm making my point. Thank you. I don't have the argument now. We'll have the conversation later, but I just wanted to make sure that I was clear on the concept of this. Uh, Thank, you, this Senator. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. And again, I, I feel obligated to say for the record that uh, we are simply moving this bill forward to have a public hearing about it, to learn more about it from the proponent uh, and to have a, a more informed discussion down the road. Uh, a vote either in favor of this or against it shouldn't really be taken uh, on the merits of the bill. This is really a vote for or against moving this to get a public hearing. Uh, Senator, Representative Meskers. Yes, um, I just wanted to comment on the bill. I expect I'll be voting forward to, yes, to bring this forward to a hearing. I'm concerned about our affordable housing stock in the state. I'm concerned about how we look at financing it. In principle and in theory, I'm not in favor of a statewide assessment that isn't either levied locally and controlled locally to achieve this objective. So I would wanna see this. I think it's worthy of a public hearing to talk about addressing the issue of affordable housing. I'm just uh, leery of the idea of establishing, establishing a statewide assessment but I will bring it forward, so thank you. Thank you, Representative. Any further discussion? Mr. Chairman. Dean? Yes, Senator Fonfara, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, this is more broadly, including this bill, but um, if we can't as an institution have discussion about concepts, there are many things that I disagree with, some of them vehemently, but I learn. I learn from the discussion. Sometimes it changes my mind, many times it doesn't. But if we can't engage in that process, in this institution that we're all, we all run for, and some of us run for repeatedly, um, it's a deliberative process, it's a deliberative body. If we can't do that, uh, at this time of the, you know, we're a part-time institution, we have a short session. When do we have this discussion as, as lawmakers? You can see you're not giving up your right to oppose it, to speak against it, to rally your constituents against something. 
But if we can't even, if we say we're for affordable housing in whatever capacity, however you define that, take out affordable housing, put in taxes, take that out, put in the economy, whatever you want to say, the environment. If we can't have a discussion on things and, and hear what perspective others might have and they hear yours, I don't know what we do then as a state if we really acknowledge that there are issues that are affecting our state, that that divide our state, that causes our state to be less than what it could be, then what? Why do we even make representations about what we what we think should be or what we care about, or about our ability to try to understand how the differences of our state and the people in our state and the perspectives that they bring to the building, including legislators and that come from every part of the state, we can't hear from each other. If we can't learn from each other, at least be open to that in this in this limited process that we have of public hearings. I don't know what what um, how how we move forward if we ever will move forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Representative Cheeseman. Yeah, On mute again, good. Representative. I want to thank Senator Funfar for his remarks, and ordinarily I would agree with him wholeheartedly, but we have limited time, limited resources, and we're operating in a pandemic. And my vote to ordinarily move all these items forward for a public hearing is directly affected by the fact that we are in a pandemic, we are dealing with critical issues, and are these the best uh, use of our time and our resources. There are amazingly desperate times. And yes, let's have this conversation, but let's do it at a time when we are not operating under these uh, technological and public health constraints. Let's do it in a time when everyone who wants to have access to the process have act has access, whether or not they have the technology, whether or not they have the ability to m operate in our virtual world. So yes, under normal circumstances, I would agree with you 100%, but these are not normal times. These are not normal issues. And the best use of our time is to help our state move forward from the pandemic and put a budget together. And that's why I'm coming down on this side. And I believe that's why many of my, mem of my members, my members are, members are coming. I share your sentiments under normal circumstances, but these are not normal times. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Representative. Representative Yaccarino. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You know, I, I've worked with Senator Funfair for many years on finance and many of you, and I do agree with him as far as the public hearing aspect. But some of these particular set of urge, it's punishing to Senator Formica's words. It's punishing people. And this is not the time for this. I think we need to encourage more affordable housing in a positive way, but not to punish. And I think that's what this bill potentially does. Uh, that's all I have to say. I respect everybody's opinion, but this is really a, an odd time to bring something like this up when there's so many people that, so many more things we, sh we should be doing. Uh, that's all I have to say. Thanks. Thank you, Representative. Any further discussion? If not, clerk, call the roll. Motion has been made and seconded to reserve Senate Bill 172 for a subject matter public hearing. Von Farah. Von Farah, yes. Scanlon. Representative Scanlon votes yes. Martin. No. Uh, S Senator Martin votes no. Representative Cheeseman. Representative Cheeseman votes no. Moore. Moore votes yes. Cabros de Gras. Cabros de Gras votes yes. Gotcha. Meskers. Representative Meskers votes yes. Well, Representative Meskers, can you talk again? I didn't see you there. Yes. Representative Meskers votes yes. Gotcha. Yes. Um, Cabrera. Representative Nagasino. Nagasino votes yes. Pisano. Perfect. Senator Cohen. Cohen votes yes. Maroney. Senator Maroney votes yes. Needleman. Senator Needleman votes yes. Slap. 
Senator Tony Wong votes no. I got you. Slap. For Mika. For Mika votes no. Whitcoast. Whitcoast votes no. Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Butler. Kafee. Rep Kafee votes yes. Concepcion. Representative Concepcion votes yes. <laughs> Want to try that again, Rep Concepcion? Sorry. No, no problem. Representative Concepcion votes yes. Gotcha. Doucette. Votes yes. Elliot. Elliot votes yes. Farrar. Farrar votes yes. Paul. Representative Hall votes yes. Hampton. Hennessy. Hennessy votes yes. Lamar. Yeah, yeah. Miller? Miller votes yes. Let's see if I can see you there. Rep Miller, can you do that again, maybe slower? Miller votes yes. Gotcha. Mushinsky. Mushinsky votes yes. You might have to try that again, Rep. Mushinsky. Mushinsky votes yes. Gotcha. Pale Willow. Representative Pale Willow votes yes. Perone. Perone votes yes. Phipps. Representative Phipps votes yes. Sanchez. Sanchez votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Santiago votes yes. Staffstrom. Representative Staffstrom votes yes. Wood, Carey. Representative Carey Wood votes yes. Yep. Zagas. Carney. Devlin. Representative Devlin votes no. Sorry, I'm trying to turn on my camera for you. Representative you Devlin votes no. Gotcha. Claire DeStetria. Representative Claire DeStetria votes no. Mastro Francesco. <laughs> Representative Mastro Francesco votes no. Nuccio. Representative Nuccio votes no. Perillo. Piscopo? Piscopo votes no. Paletta. Representative Paletta votes no. Wood, Terry. Representative Wood votes, Terry Wood votes no. Yaccarino. Representative Yaccarino votes no. Try that again, Rep. Yaccarino, if you could. Rep. Yaccarino, you there? Yes. Okay. Representative Yaccarino votes no. Gotcha. Zulo? Did you, you get it? Zulo and Zupkis. Zupkis votes no. Got it. Representative Scanlon, that's the, the list. Thank you. Uh, item number three, SB number 343, an act concerning the Learn Here, Live Here program. Is there a oh, motion? Oh, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Senator Second. Five, second. second by Representative, Representative, Here, uh, Representative uh, Cheeseman. Yes, uh, I move we start a consent calendar and place this bill on a consent, please, Mr. Chairman. 
Thank you very much, Representative Cheeseman. We will add number three to the consent calendar. Number four, SB 741. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Second. Motion by Senator Fanfara, second by Senator Cohen. Is there a motion? Representative Cheeseman. And again, add this to the consent calendar, please, Mr. Chairman. Number four to consent. Number five, SB 821. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Senator Fanfara. Second. second. By Representative Hennessy, any discussion? And uh, uh, if, in case I wasn't clear, I would like a roll call vote on the remaining bills as well, please, Mr. Chairman. Okay, any further discussion on item number five, eight to one? Seeing none, clerk call the roll. Motion has been made and second to reserve item number five, Senate Bill 821 for a subject matter public hearing under Roman numeral four. Fonfara. Senator Fonfara votes yes. Scanlon. Representative Scanlon votes yes. Martin. No. Uh, Senator Martin votes no. Oh. Try again. Senator Martin, no. Hmm. It's not getting off you, Rep. Scanlon. Senator Martin, do you try it again, maybe? Senator Martin, no. There you go. Rep. Cheeseman? Rep. Cheeseman votes no. Moore? Moore votes yes. Cabros de Gras? Cabros de Gras votes yes. Want to try that again? Cabros de Gras votes yes. Gotcha. Meskers? Representative Meskers votes yes. Cabrera? Casano, Cohen. Senator Cohen votes yes. Maroney. Give me a second. Maroney votes yes. Needleman. Needleman votes yes. Slap. Formica. Formica votes no. Want to try again? Yes, sir. Formica votes no. Got it. Thank you. Wong? Wong? Wickos? Barry? Representative Barry votes yes. Butler? Chafee? Rep. Chafee votes yes. Concepcion? Concepcion votes yes. Doucette? Votes yes. Elliot. Farrar. Farrar votes yes. Hall. Representative Hall votes yes. Hampton. <clears throat> Hennessy. Lamar. Got it. Representative Hennessy votes Michelle. yes. Representative gotcha. Michelle votes. Lamar. Miller. Senator Miller votes yes. Mushinsky. Mushinsky votes yes. Paolo. Paolo votes yes. Perone. Perone votes yes. Phipps. I vote yes. Fiscal yes. Sanchez. Sanchez votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Staffstrom. Representative Staffstrom votes yes. Wood Carey. Zagos. Carney. Uh, Representative Carney votes no. Devlin. Representative Devlin votes no. Claire Destitria. Representative Claire Destitria votes no. M Mastro Francesco. Representative Mastro Francesco votes no. Nuccio. Representative Nuccio votes no. Perillo. Hey, 
Piscopo. Piscopo votes no. Paletta. Representative Paletta votes no. Wood, Terry. Uh, Representative Wood, Terry votes no. Uh, Yaccarino. Representative Yaccarino votes no. Yaccarino, can you try that Representative again? Representative Yaccarino votes no. There you go. Zulo. And Zupkus. Zupkus votes no. Gotcha. Elliot votes yes. End of the list. Elliot votes yes once you're going back around. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Thanks. You got it. Okay. Uh, we are moving right along here to uh, item number six, which is 5650. So move, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Second. Senator Bonfara, second by Representative Sanchez. Any discussion? Mr. Chair, I do have a question. Senator Martin. Or comment. Thank you. I'm, uh, you know, th this bill, this bill number item number five and number six have to deal with cannabis. Um, and I just want to say, you know, I think uh, for the uh, the cart before the horse here regarding anything that has to deal with cannabis, I am all for the literacy programs. I think that's crucial and vital for our students. Uh, but when we start to assume that uh, we are going to legalize the recreational use of, of cannabis and, and then start uh, allocating funds to specific causes, uh, I just feel that uh, it's not uh, the time to uh, be having this discussion. So uh, regarding this particular bill, uh, vote right now, I'll be voting no on this. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Any further discussion? If not, clerk, call the roll. Yes, motion has been made and seconded to reserve HB 5650 for a subject matter public hearing. Bonfera. Bonfera votes yes. Scanlon. Representative Scanlon votes yes. Try that again, Rep Scanlon. It's, it's picking up something. Representative else. Scanlon votes yes. Got it. Martin. Martin votes no. Cheeseman. Representative Cheeseman votes no. Moore. Moore votes yes. Senator Moore, can you try again? Moore votes yes. Gotcha. Cabros de Gras. Cabros de Gras votes yes. Go ahead, Cabros Senator Moore. I think it's because you have to mute yourself, Senator Moore, after you vote. I'm unmuted. Can you mute yourself? Because I think it's picking you up still. There you go. Cabros de Gras. Cabros de Gras votes yes. Meskers. M Representative Meskers votes yes. Cabrera. Casano. Cohen. Senator Cohen votes yes. Maroney. Maroney votes yes. Needleman. Senator Needleman votes yes. Slap. Formica. Senator Slap votes yes. Formica. Wong. Formica Wait, votes no. yes. Okay. Thank you. Gotcha. Wong. Whitcoast. Whitcoast votes yes. Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Butler. Chafee. Rep Chafee votes yes. Concepcion. Representative Concepcion votes yes. Doucette. 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 Doucette, you were muted, I think. Saw your face, but. Can you try again, Rep. I'm sorry. Okay, got you that time. Elliot? Elliot votes yes. Elliot, go ahead again, sorry. Elliot, Elliot votes yes. Gotcha, Farr. Farrar votes yes. Got it, Hall. Representative Hall votes yes. Hampton. 
Barrett Hampton votes no. Hennessy. Hennessy votes yes. Lamar. Miller. Miller votes yes. Mushinsky. Paolo. Paolo votes yes. Go ahead again, Rep. Paolo. Paolo votes yes. Gotcha. Perone. Perone votes yes. Phipps. Phipps votes yes. Sanchez. Sanchez votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Staffstrom. Rep. Staffstrom votes yes. Harry Wood. Diogas. Carney. Rep. Carney votes yes. Devlin. Rep. Devlin votes no. Claire Destitria. Rep. Claire Destitria votes no. Mastro Francesco. Mastro Francesco votes no. Nuccio. Representative Nuccio votes no. Perillo. Piscopo. Piscopo votes no. Go ahead, Piscopo. Try that again. Piscopo votes no. Gotcha. Paletta. Paletta votes no. Basic bill that. Um, Paletta, I didn't catch you there. Attempts to do something. Paletta votes no. Gotcha. Terry Wood. Rep. Terry Wood votes no. Yaccarino. Zulo. Zupkis. Representative Zupkis votes no. Got it. That is the end of the list. And if I can come back to you, Senator Tony Huang votes no. Yep. Gotcha. Thank uh, you very much. Representative Mashinsky votes no. Got it. All right, just as a reminder. Tom. Of Representative Yaccarino, I think that was you. Go ahead. I, yeah, I never, I didn't vote. Yeah. I lost, I kept losing connection. What was We the, are on 5650. Could I pass? I, I, I have to look at it. Sure. I lost connection for the last two minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. Thanks. 5650. Yeah. Moving on to 5862. Is there a motion? So moved. Sorry about that. Second. Moved by Representative Hall, second by Senator Fanfara. Any discussion? Seeing none, clerk call the roll. Motion has been made and second to reserve HB 5862 for a subject matter public hearing. Fanfara. Senator Fanfara votes yes. Scanlon. Senator, uh, Representative Scanlon votes yes. Martin. Senator Martin votes no. Rep. Scanlon, I think you have to mute yourself. It's picking up you. Senator Martin. Martin? Senator Martin votes no. Gotcha. Cheeseman. Representative Cheeseman votes no. Moore. Senator Moore votes yes. Try it again, Senator Moore. Senator Moore votes yes. Cabros de Gras. Cabros de Gras votes yes. Meskers. Representative Meskers votes yes. Cabrera. Casano. Cohen. Senator Cohen votes yes. Maroney. Maroney votes yes. Needleman. Senator Needleman votes yes. Slap. Formica? Formica votes no. Formica? Formica votes no. Gotcha. Wong? Senator Tony Wong votes no. Whitcoast? 
Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Butler. Con uh, Chafee. Rep Chafee votes yes. Well, can you turn on your camera, Rep Chafee? Sorry, it's not picking you up. There you go. Sorry about that. Rep Chafee votes yes. Concepcion. Representative Concepcion votes yes. Doucette. Rep votes yes. Elliot. Elliot Rep votes yes. Farrar. Representative Farrar votes yes. Paul. Representative Hall votes yes. Ms. Hampton. Representative, Rep Mr. Representative Hampton votes no. Hennessy. Hennessy votes yes. Go ahead and try that again, Rep Hennessy. Hennessy votes yes. Saw you. Lamar. Uh, Miller. Representative Miller votes yes. Mushinsky. Rep Mashinsky votes no. Paolo. Representative Paolo votes yes. Perone. Representative Perone votes yes. Fitz. Representative Fitz votes yes. Sanchez. Sanchez votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Staffstrom. Representative Staffstrom votes yes. Wood Carey. Ziogis. Carney. Uh, Representative Carney votes no. Dev Devlin. Representative Devlin votes no. Claire Destitria. Representative Claire Destitria votes no. Mastro Francesco. Mastro Francesco votes no. Nuccio. I'm sorry, can you confirm which number we're on again, please? Seven yes, or eight? We are on. Um, Number seven. Yep, Number we are seven. on five, eight, six, two. Six, two. Okay, uh, Representative Nuccio votes no. Sorry for multitasking. No problem. Perillo. Piscopo. Piscopo votes no. Paletta. Wood Terry. Wood Terry votes no. Paletta votes no. I'm sorry. Gotcha. I got that. Yakarina. Zulo. Zupkis. Zupkis votes no. Okay. Yakarina, do you want to try again? I think you were trying to. Yakarina. I'll try it again. Representative Yakarina votes no. Yeah. I. I it's not picking up your face, Representative Yakarina. Representative Yakarina looks no. Yeah, you're having some internet issues. Representative Yakarina, we're having trouble seeing you. So when I you're... see him now. I see him at the top. Do you, you want to try it now? Uh, yeah, my video just went off, though. Yeah. Could you? I don't know what the heck's happening. Representative, you may just want to call call Tom after this. The votes will be open until two o'clock, so maybe without everybody else on the line, yeah. you'll be able to have a connection. Yeah. Good point. Jeremy? Maybe That's with your... less people, maybe with less people on at the end, we can catch them. All right, almost there, crew. Uh, number eight, six one seven five. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. Second. Representative, uh, Sen Senator Fonfara uh, is the motion, second by Re Senator or Representative Terry Wood. Thank you. Representative Cheeseman. Uh, will we place this on consent calendar, please, Mr. Chair? Number eight will be placed on consent. And last but not least, number nine, HB 6187, is there a motion? Got it. Senator Representative Smith. Smith. Representative second Smith. By votes Representative yes. Hennessy. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Fanfara. Any discussion? Seeing none, clerk call the roll. 
Motion has motion has been made and seconded to reserve HB 6187 for a subject matter public hearing. Fonfara. Senator Fonfara votes yes. Scanlon. Representative Scanlon votes yes. Martin. Martin votes no. Cheeseman. Cheeseman's votes yes. Moore. Moore votes yes. Cabros de Gras. Ah. Cabros de Gras votes yes. Try that again, Cabros de Gras. Cabros de Gras votes yes. Gotcha. I got all we got. Oh, Mesker. Here. Representative Mesker's votes yes. Cabrera, Casado, Cohen. Senator Cohen votes yes. Maroney. Maroney votes yes. Needleman. Needleman votes yes. Flat. Slap votes yes. Gotcha. Formica. Thank you, Tom. Confirming this is item number nine, Bill 6187. Correct. Formica votes no. Wong. Senator Tony Wong votes no. Witkos. Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Butler. JP. JP votes yes. Concepcion. Representative Concepcion votes yes. Doucette. Representative votes yes. Elliot. Elliot. Elliot votes yes. Try again, Elliot. I think I'm Elliot going to. Votes yes. Elliot? Elliot votes yes. Okay. Farrar. Farrar. Farrar votes yes. Hall. Representative Hall votes yes. Hampton. Hampton votes uh, yes. Hennessy. Representative Hennessy votes yes. Hennessy? Yes. Hennessy votes yes. Lamar. Miller? Representative Miller votes yes. Mushinsky. Representative Mushinsky votes yes. Paolo. Representative Paolo votes yes. Perone. Perone votes yes. Rep Perone? Rep Perone votes yes. Phipps. Rep Pistols yes. Sanchez. Rep Sanchez votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Santiago mm -hmm. votes yes. Gotcha. Staffstrom. Rep Staffstrom votes yes. Staffstrom. Representative Staffstrom votes yes. Wood Carey. Ziogas. Carney? Uh, Representative Carney votes no. Devlin. Representative Devlin votes no. Claire Destitria. Representative Claire Destitria votes no. Mastro Francesco. Representative Mastro Francesco votes no. Nuccio. Representative Nuccio votes no. Perillo. Piscopo. Piscopo votes no. Paletta. Paletta votes no. Wood Terry. Wood Terry votes no. Terry Wood. Yes, Wood. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, Wood Terry votes no. Thanks. Yacarino. Zulo. Zupkis. Zupkis votes no. That is the end of the list. Okay. Um, we have three items in the consent calendar. That was uh, item number three, four, and eight. Is there a motion to uh, move those three bills? So moved. So moved. Okay. Seconded. 
Motion by Representative Sanchez, second by Representative Cheeseman. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Any abstentions? All right. Thank you, everybody. That was a long meeting, but appreciate uh, you helping us get through it. Uh, we will leave the votes open until 2 p.m., as I said earlier. Uh, we will probably be having a meeting on Monday, so stay tuned for that. We will also be having a public hearing again on Tuesday. Uh, I uh, apologize that we've had back-to-back -back weeks of Tuesday public hearings. Uh, that is not the intention. We, we know that most of the time we do meet Monday, Wednesday, Friday. As you all know, finance is a committee that can meet any day they want without permission from leadership. Um, but we were tripped up this week because of the back-to-back -back Friday, Monday holiday. And uh, there is a bill that we want to hear on the 23rd uh, next week that's very important uh, that we may consider in the full session uh, at some point soon. So that's why we're having a public meeting, or public hearing rather, on the 23rd. Uh, with that, Senator from do you have any closing remarks today? I do not. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. And uh, as we were discussing offline, that uh, it'd be great if we could figure out a way to expedite this voting process. Uh, it is painful and um, uh, everyone should have the right to uh, be heard and be seen in that process, but it'd be great if we could figure out a more expedited way to do it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. Uh, with that, I will recess the committee uh, and vote to be open until two o'clock. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Have a Thank nice you. day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Take care. Hey, Tom, I'm going to stay on, okay? Just yep, please. we're here. Tom, hi, uh -huh. Tom. I, I think I missed... Um, I missed... Shoot. Yeah, hold on one second. Let's wait for... Yep. One second. Christina, are you here? I'm here. Okay, so can you tell some of these people who hi, are... Chris Hi, Christina. I'm Terry Wood. We've not met, but thank you for being here and part of the group. Yeah. So, Christina, you could tell Terry Wood what she's missing. I'm going to get organized, but do you have it? Yeah. I know yeah. one through six on the concepts yeah. to re raised. I missed one through six. So, uh, yes, I'm, I'm a yes on all of those. Okay. You I think missed... the, those are mostly both voice votes. Yes. Go ahead, Christina. Yeah. So, for the um, public hearing one, you missed uh, Bill, Senate Bill 171. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, you know, if we don't keep a sense of humor about all this stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, That's the thank only you very much. So you're all set. All right. Thank you. Good deal. Thank you. Have a good day, you guys. Bye. Thanks. So, Tina, I, 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 this is uh, Representative Carney. I think I missed one of the bills. I think it was 172. Uh, yep. That uh, is the one that you missed. Okay, uh, no. Thank you. You're all Thank you so much. Thank you. Christina, this is Representative Paul. Hi, Representative Paul. I think I may have missed something earlier, early on. Not sure. Let me, let me take a look. I have you for all of the public hearing ones. So you're good. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like just the Senate left, huh? <laughs> Who wants to go first? Go ahead, Derek. I'll go up. Go I'm in a rush. I was late. Okay. So I don't have you for Senate Bill 171. Senator Slap. I'm sorry, are you talking to me? I'm like, yes. August. Uh, uh, yeah, Senator Slap votes yes. This is just for uh, to raise for uh, public hearing, correct? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, Senate Bill 172. Uh, Senator Slap votes yes. Eight two one. Uh, 
Slap votes yes. Five eight six two. Slap votes yes. And then I got you for the rest of your old set. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Good to see you all. Stay safe. Thank you, Doug. You all want right. to go next, Kevin? Sure, if you don't care. Thanks, Norm. I have nothing to do all day. <laughs> okay, Senator Whitcoast for uh, House Bill 6187 for a public hearing. Yes. And then House Bill 5862. That's a yes on that one also. Eight two one Senate bill. Um, hold on just a second. I just got to quickly pull it up just so I could I see which one that is. No. Yeah, I'm just double check to make sure I have you for them all. Okay, you're all set. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Norm. See you all later. Great day, Kevin. See Did I miss anything? I know I missed some at the very beginning, the voice votes. And I'm a yes on all those. So. You didn't miss any. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Nice job today. A lot of fun. Thank you. I'm trying to mind my P's and Q's because we're being recorded. <laughs> Have a great day. Take care. Stay safe in the snow. You too. Thank you. Tom there. 
Rebbe Akarino, Christina's going to take your vote. Christina, you're on mute. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Thanks, Tom. Okay. I'm going to go. I think I missed a couple. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Let me Say that again. A, I'm going to take a look right now and see what ones that, which ones you missed. I know 50, 60, I believe I missed. I don't, and I know the last one I definitely missed. I think I missed two or three. Okay, so I don't have you for House Bill 627. What was that? Uh, let me pull up the agenda. All right, one second. Okay, so it's House Bill 6187, an act concerning the restructuring of certain taxes and tax equity. That's for a subject matter public hearing you're voting on. I'll say no. I don't know what it is. So I'll just, I'm sure we'll have the hearing now. So no. <clears throat> yeah, Karina votes now. Yeah. Okay. I'm I think I have you for the rest of them, but let me just double check real quick. I think I missed another one. Yeah. Um, House Bill 5650, which is. Is that the ca cannabis? An act concerning funding for literacy and adult education programs in certain school districts and municipalities for a public hearing. I'll, I would say yes on that. Just I don't know how, you know, this, at least for the public hearing, yeah. Great. Thank you so much. That, those were the only two that you missed. So I got everything? Yeah. All right, thank you. Bye. Representative Wood. Hey, good afternoon. Did I miss any votes? You did. Um, I'm pulling them up right now to see which ones you missed. Okay, so you missed Senate Bill 821 reserved for a public hearing. Oh, well, yes or no? Yes. House Bill 5650? Yes. House Bill 5862? Yes. And then House Bill 6187? Yes. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Tina.
Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi, it's Rep Hampton. Hi, I, was, I have a couple that I just need your vote on. It is. Which ones? One second. Okay, so Senate Bill 172 for public hearing. What's the name of the bill? Okay, so 172, an act establishing a statewide assessment to encourage affordable housing in the state. Uh, yes. Okay. House Bill 5650, an act concerning funding for literacy and adult education programs in certain school districts and municipalities. Public can you say it? Can you say it again? Yes. House Bill 5650, an act concerning funding for literacy and adult education programs in certain school districts and municipalities. Yes. Yes. Got it. And then I'm just checking to see if you missed any other ones. Okay. Senate Bill 821, an act concerning the Reformation of certain taxes and tax equity. The certain what? Senate Bill 821, an act concerning the reformation of certain taxes and tax equity. Yes. Yes. The rest of them. Thank you. Is that it? Yep, you're all set. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Representative Lamar. Hi, Christina. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I think I only made it in for one or two votes while I was in planning and development, so I think I have a lot of catching up to do. No problem. Um, Senate Bill 172. I'll be voting yes on that item. Okay. Senate Bill 821. I'll be voting yes on that item. House Bill 5650. I'll be voting yes on that item. House Bill 5862. I'll be voting yes on that item. And then there's just one more. Senate or House Bill 6187. I'll be voting yes on that item. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Hi, Senator Cassano. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I owe you a lot of votes, I understand. We just finished P&D, so. No problem. Just need you to turn on your camera, please. Okay, in recess. Here's my stop video. Great. Okay. okay. These are all to uh, reserve for a public hearing. Uh, so I have Senate Bill 171. Yes. Senator Gasano votes yes. Is that what you need to hear? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Senate Bill 172. Senator Cassano votes yes. Senate Bill 821. Senator Cassano votes yes. Senate Bill 5650. Senator Cassano votes yes. House Bill 58. Six, two. Senator Cassano votes yes. And last one, House Bill 6187. Senator Cassano votes yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Have Hi. a good day. Be safe. You too. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.
Hi, Senator. Senator Wong, you there? I am. I was cracking jokes and I was on mute. <laughs> no problem. Um, let me just I, I, I was calling you in recess. <laughs> and I'm like, she's ignoring me. Wait, I'm on mute. How are you? Let me check which ones you missed. Uh, yeah, let me know. I think it was what is your name? Christina. Christina, what a beautiful name. It's my daughter's name. <laughs> it's a great name. It is. Um, now you're going to tell no. me your name's Grace. No, Serena, but. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Senate Bill 821, uh, voting to reserve for a public hearing. Hold on a second. 821. Yes. And what did Senator Martin? He voted no. I hope be a no. Okay. And Senator Formica as well, right? Okay. I think you have you were you were good for the rest of them, but yep, I have your votes for all the other ones. Do you can you give me a list of uh, the votes cast for me and send it to me? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want everyone's votes? Or the yeah, ones? all the votes, and uh, that'd be great. Okay. Yep, we can get that to you later today. Thanks, Christina. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. You too. Say thanks to Tom. Not sure if he's there. Hi, Representative. Hello there. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing all right. Okay. Um, we had a couple of votes. We had about we had six votes today. Um, the rest were voice voice votes. Uh, these are for reserving for a public hearing. Um, so I just Got need it. your for those. Let me just make sure your name is right. Okay. Oh, uh, Senate Bill 171. Uh, that would be no. No. Okay. Senate Bill 172. Uh, no. Do I have to say Rep Zulu votes no? Um, yeah, just in case. You show up on my screen, but we'll just make sure that it shows up on the YouTube live. Okay, I'll do that as well. Um, Senate Bill 821. Representative Zulo votes no. House Bill 5650. Representative Zulo votes no. House Bill 5862. Uh, Representative Zulo votes no. And then House Bill 6187. Representative Zulo votes no. Great. Thank you. Very good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have a good day. You as well.
by Representative Butler. Uh, and my screen off. Okay, that's me. Um, um, so we have six votes, roll call votes, the rest was a voice vote. So these are two reserved for a public hearing. Um, and it is Senate Bill 171. Can you just tell me if you vote? Do you need me to read what the bill is? Or you yes. Okay. <laughs> So for a public hearing, it's Senate Bill 171, an act establishing a statewide tax on real property. Yes. Did you hear, did you hear me? I said yes. Yes. Okay. Senate Bill 172, an act establishing a statewide assessment to encourage affordable housing in the state. Yes. Thank you. Senate Bill 821, which is an act concerning the reformation of certain taxes and tax equity. Yes. Thank you. And then House Bill 5650, an act concerning funding for literacy and adult education programs in certain school districts and municipalities. Yes. Thank you. Uh, House Bill 5862, an act establishing a loan program to support cannabis related entrepreneurship for justice impacted individuals. Uh, can you read that one again? Yeah. It was 5862, an act establishing a loan program to support cannabis related entrepreneurship for justice impacted, impacted individuals. No. <laughs> and then the last one is House Bill 618 an act concerning the restructuring of certain taxes and tax equity. Yes. Great. Thank you. Hey, um, I during the meeting, I tried to um, sign on using my phone and I couldn't get through. Um, I don't know if somebody saw that or not. We did. We saw Larry's iPhone and we tried to let you in, um, but then it disappeared for some reason. But I just okay. see you try to get into the meeting. Yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I was trying to get in and um, I was waiting to have it connect, but it never seemed to like, kind of connect. It, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm glad that you saw it on your end. <laughs> we did. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, day. thank you. You have a great Bye. day too. Bye.
It is now 2 p.m. on Wednesday, February 17th, 2021, and the Finance Committee meeting is adjourned. <laughs>